it's funny because I got um, a DM from somebody that was like, why do you even waste your time doing Fade Five Fridays and mukbangs and stuff like that? And when you can just do a reaction video and get a thousand, five thousand, two thousand, ten thousand views. But what people don't understand is Fade Five Friday is my gift and my thank you and my salute to all those that I love and that I watch on a daily basis. So it's not always about what you get out of a situation, but what you can give. What is up you guys welcome back to your favorite place with your favorite girl it is none other than me simply k dot awesome and i'm back with another video for y'all if you are new to the channel i want to welcome you and say hey how you doing do me a favor hit give this video a huge thumbs up like share comment and subscribe turn on your bell notifications make sure they are on if you're already a part of this fave family i love you but you already know that but also check your post notification bells make sure this is all so none of us miss a video quite like this one now you guys know what day it is. It's Faye Five Friday time. Um, the day where I take um, a day to honor a lot of YouTubers that I absolutely love for their craft and their artistry and their efforts and the beautiful talents that they bring to YouTube each and every day. But today's Faye Five Friday is going to be a little bit different. Um, as you guys know, or if you didn't know, um, our YouTube and mukbang community lost a sister, beautiful, kind, generous, a true angel none other than cooking with Tracy. So today's Faye Five Friday is honoring her, her legacy, who she was, who she still is, because her spirit still lives on. So today we're honoring for Faye Five Friday, cooking with Tracy. So first up, we're gonna do her beautiful collaboration with my family. I love them so much, Picky Dale and Mama Dale. Watch. Welcome to my channel, Cooking with Tracy, and I'm Tracy. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload another awesome video. Yes, y'all. Okay, you guys, I have some very, very special guests in the building. <laughs> Mama Dell and Vicky Dell. Hey. hey, we are doing a collab. We're yes. here at Copeland's having a wonderful yes, time. Yes. We have some dessert now. If you all um, don't know, we started off on their channel with yes. the main course. Yes. So y'all go on over there after you leave here yes. and check out their video. Mm -hmm. I have a clip of them right now I'm about to show you guys. Yes, right, ma'am. These people with yeah. these cameras. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Miss Tracy, people. Uh, hey, yes. <laughs> yes, y'all see Picky Dell and Mama Dell in the building. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, um, when you just meet people um, and the love is genuine and the people are genuine, genuine it's an instant connection. Um, and that's why I wanted to do this Faye Five Friday and honor her um, so we can remember the beautiful person that she was and the beautiful spirit that she still has. And I know a lot of people were doing her challenge, um, which is the um, the whole slab rib challenge. But I don't eat meat, so I wanted to honor her in my way. And this is my way of telling her family, her friends, and all of us that um, loved her dearly. Um, we love you, we'll miss you, but we still honor you and your legacy will live on forever. And speaking of that challenge, so up next is Cooking with Tracy's Full Slab of Rib Challenge. Enjoy. Today I am going to start a brand new challenge. All right. Um, 
Challenge is eat a whole slab of ribs. Um, I have St. Louis style ribs. There's no time limit. I know you guys are tired of seeing seafood and chicken, seafood and chicken, seafood and chicken. So I thought I'd start something new. All right, something to work. So for these ribs, I just um, seasoned them up well. Let them marinate, wrap them up real tight, put them in the oven. 275 for about three and a half hours. And this is what we get. Nice, delicious, tender ribs. I hope this is a good challenge for you guys. I think it's something good, something out of the ordinary. <laughs> that was fun. Like I said, I wish I could have participated in it now. Um, but I don't eat meat and I can't do it. So hopefully I hope that the family and our friends and all of us enjoy this celebration of life and talent of cooking with Tracy. So next up, uh, we're going to do when she got monetized, her celebration and she had some fun um, with the young queens. <sighs> making the cotton candy pickles um, so enjoy that video cuz I know I did watch and I know some people been going on uh, to the dollar store but I I haven't seen any in the dollar store and they have those little bags for a dollar see y'all y'all got y'all y'all be kind of messed up with y'all oh it's not supposed to look like this it's yeah. supposed to be the shape of the. Okay. See, look, look. But you still got a, a big hunk of oh, nothing, boy. Cotton candy. You you gotta eat it. No, I'm. You Tennessee. you can't do that. It was on my finger. You can't do that. See, look at mine. See, look. Oh, Yours look good looking. Uh, that's because when you take your time, you accomplish more. I don't even have all that all, all on my hands. Because y'all just messy. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, my God. She's going to be missed tremendously. Okay. So, next up, Miss Tracy, and I got this one in my favorite, taught us how to make a New Orleans style seafood ball baby. Yes, New Orleans style and everything outside. You probably need to be outside though because that's Zatarain's liquid ball. Uh huh. That stuff will kill you if you try to use it in the house. So, next up, let the queen show you how to make a New Orleans style seafood ball her way. Enjoy. Today, I'm going to be doing a step by step New Orleans style seafood boil. I have snow crabs, uh, regular blue crabs. I have uh, mussels, shrimp, corn, and potatoes. You want that to be at a rolling boil and you want to add in, um, I use Zatarain's. Um, you're welcome to use any kind that you want, but I use Zatarain's um, seafood boil, crab boil, whatever you call it. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'll say about two to three cupfuls and drop it in a pot. Okay, I have that. I also have the liquid. And I'm going to add about four to six ounces of that in the boil. Okay, some of that in here. I'm also gonna put a little bit of vinegar. Um, and that's to help the meat separate from the shells. Okay, and now I have my onions, bell peppers, celery, and garlic i'm gonna put the lid back on here i'm gonna bring this up to a boil 
I'm gonna let it boil for about 15 minutes to get all of those seasonings mixed into the water. And I'll be back in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, cause it has to come up to a boil. So I'll be back. <laughs> all right, you guys, before I show you the last video, please be sure to go to the description box below link to her channel support it watch it as much as you can um subscribe like share comment because her family is going to still keep her channel on it is monetized and also um if you would like to donate to the family i will also link the cash app um to the family also in my description box so you can show your love whichever way that you can no matter how big or how small um and we are uh, thank you so 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 very much um in advance for your love and your support again this is our sister um this is someone's mother this is someone's friend and we are going to miss her tremendously tremendously so last but not least um this was cooking with tracy's last posted video on her channel um and i believe she's with her daughter-in-law and it is chicken and shrimp alfredo mukbang enjoy hey you guys welcome to my channel cooking with tracy and i'm tracy this is my daughter-in-law maya hey how you guys doing today if you're new here Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload another awesome video. Okay, you guys, today we will be mukbanging some fettuccine, Alfredo, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I am going to bless this food so that we can get it in. So let's start out with our blessing. Father God, we thank you for this meal we are about to receive. Bless it so that it will be a nourishment to our bodies. Father God, bless this meal so that it will bring no harm, hurt, or danger. For those who have nothing to eat, Father God, I ask that you supply them with nourishing meal that will help them and heal them. Father God, for those who are sick, I ask that you touch them. You heal them. You touch them from the head, the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, Father God. We need blessings and we we know you're able and you're willing. All we have to do is ask. We say this prayer in your darling son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so guys, like I said, we have some, uh, some, uh, fettuccine, well, had to deal with what we had to deal with. There was no, um, fettuccine or Alfredo noodles. How about that? I want some chicken. I want some chicken, y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about to get some chicken. I, I just want a couple pieces. Y'all already know that. Okay, you guys. We are back. 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 Back in action. We back. We back. We back in action. <laughs> that one was almost hard to watch. But again, like I say, when you're light and you love shines bright from the inside out it never dies that kind of spirit is eternal and it lives on through us it lives on through her family it lives on through her friends so once again don't forget to hit the description box below subscribe to her channel if you can give to the cash app and support don't don't stop supporting don't stop showing your love um again love is eternal it, it, ne it never dies. Even when our bodies are absent from this world, our spirit still lives on. So to the family of Cooking with Tracy, we love you. We support you. You're forever in our prayers. Um, we give homage and honor um, to Cooking with Tracy because she supported so many and she loved up on so many. And we want and I want... Um, to let that light show and let that laugh show 
and the reason why we loved her so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Fade 5 Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, you guys, please be safe, be cautious, love up on somebody. And if you can today, check on somebody. Tell them you love them. If it's somebody you haven't seen in a long time, make that phone call. Send that text message. One thing that we don't have that's guaranteed is time. It's the most precious and the most inexpensive. I love you guys. Peace.